Hello and welcome to Question Spot, today we are going to explore the answer of, which is hotter, fire or lava. So let's get started. Shaking is something you do when you're feeling cold. But it's also what tiny particles do when they're hot. All atoms, big and small, bounce and jiggle about randomly. Heat describes how energy makes them move this way. On the other hand, temperature is a measurement of the amount of bounce, and jiggle there is in bunches of atoms. So, which has bouncier particles, fire or lava? The answer might surprise you. Fire is a chemical reaction caused by a fuel, such as wood, gas, or oil, combining with oxygen. When the molecules of fuel recombine with oxygen, other chemicals, such as carbon dioxide and water, are formed. This swapping of atoms releases a lot of the fuel's energy in the form of light and heat. The energy in this heat and light depends on the chemicals in the fuel and how quickly they combine with oxygen. If the fire is a burning candle, parts of the flame can be as hot as 1400 degrees Celsius. However, since the wick is small and thin, the hot area is tiny, so it doesn't contain a lot of heat energy. How does that compare with lava? Molten rock in the mantle under Earth's crust is under a lot of pressure. Radioactive particles also knock the molten rock's atoms around, making them hot. Close to Earth's core, the mantle's temperature can be as high as 4000 degrees Celsius. But near the surface, the molten rock, or magma, is a lot cooler. In fact, as it spills out onto Earth's surface as lava, the runny rock's temperature is only a little lower than the hottest part of a candle flame, about 1200 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, a big blob of lava contains many more bouncing particles than a small candle flame, so it has a lot more heat energy. I hope you have learned something new today. If yes then explore the subscribe button and hit it. Also watch my another videos here. Don't forget to ask your questions below. Let's explore all at one spot. Thank you.